Welcome back. Got a 2006 Honda Ridgeline. It's got a noisy belt. Um, looked at it a little earlier. Not sure if it's the original tensioner on it. Might be this car's got close to 300,000 miles on it. Uh, we're going to do a serpentine belt and a, a tensioner pulley assembly on this. Now I'm trying to get you set up here in a spot where I don't knock you off of there, but this is the uh, tensioner pulley. We're going to push it towards. We're going to push the wrench towards the back of the car. So I'm going to move it as far forward as we can here. Come on. And we're going to push it towards the back the easiest way. It's just pretty tight, but it's not too bad. Just push it and then just take the belt off the top pulley, which I just did. So my belt's loose, so I can just fish this out. So hopefully you can see this. It's really tough. I'm on that bottom bottom pulley on the assembly. I'm going to break that loose. I'm going to try with a wrench. If not, I'll get a ratchet on there and a flex head ratchet. Get a little better angle on it. We'll see. If it's just 14 millimeter. We'll see if we can get it out of there. Oh, that's great. I didn't film any of that. If I didn't film any of that, that was really smart on my part. Um, so, this is, you know, it goes like this. Down the bottom here. You see this right there? That's the bolt you couldn't see. You can't see this bolt. It's buried underneath. <clears throat> so when you're looking down from the top, you've got to take this 12 millimeter out, 12 millimeter head. I just used a, a deep socket and maybe a two to three inch extension there. Uh, I could get in there. Then this pulley bolt, right? This idler bolt, pull that out. It's got a little plastic thing on it here. Let's spin that off, set it aside. There you go. Now, are these bad? Yeah, it was shaking pretty bad. Uh, is this the original? I don't know. I don't know if these are marked from the factory or not. So, hard to say, but definitely needed to be done at 300,000 miles. You can hear that one. It's not great. And it's got a wobble to it, which I saw. I could, could see it with the belt. So when the belt was, when the engine was running, you could see this kind of wobbling. So I've got the new one here. <clears throat> There's a uh, metal plate. Metal plate there that goes into this. Pull it on the front like that. There's no spacer behind it. Just rise like that. Now, I'm going to take my bolt. I'm going to get it off. Take the bolt, stick it through. And I'm going to put this plastic holder back on there. That was on there before. Kind of spinning on there a little bit. Keeps that bolt from coming out. <clears throat> Whether it's absolutely necessary, I don't know. But it was there, so it's going back on. So. We're just going to stick this back down in there, get it started. Uh, we'll start this bolt first, obviously, and then we'll put that this bottom bolt. I'm blocking your light, this bottom bolt here, 12 millimeter head, back in. I know you can't see this. I'm dropping everything here. Really hard to show you, but I'm just by hand turning this bolt in. So I've got that started. I can feel it going in. I don't want to tighten it because I have to put this guy. He's got to go back in. And this is blind, so <clears throat> got a feel for it. Since I can't see it. I've got it in the in the hole. And then I've got to adjust this, move this back and forth. Kind of wiggle. I just wiggle this front to back. And I could, as I'm pushing on the bolt a little bit, and I could feel it drop into the hole. And then I'm going to start it by hand, which I think I have it started. <clears throat> now I can just reach down in there with my uh, socket and extension. Oh, I right on it. That never happens. And just, yeah, it just, just fell off. Like I said, that never happens. 
Where's that bolt? I know, I know you can't see anything. Welcome. Neither can I. But I believe I got it. Got it started. I don't know how much of that you actually saw. Because the uh, battery ran out, which surprised me. And I don't know if I was pointing the right place, but I've got this set back in. I've got my bottom bolt in. I'm going to snug it up. As I said before, it's 16 foot pounds, but good luck. You're never getting a torque wrench in there. So don't crush it. It's not that big a bolt. It's snug enough. I'm gonna just. It's in the hole. It's not all the way tight, but I want to uh, run my pulley bolt in now and get that close. And then I'll finish finish the other one. This one's 33 foot pounds for this bolt. Like I said before, you're not getting a torque wrench in there. I don't think so. I'm not even going to try because I'm pretty sure that what I have will not fit on it. I won't be able to get it in against the frame around. Flex head ratchet. If you don't have one, I've said this, I say this in so many videos. If you don't have one and you're doing any amount of work on cars, get one. Or get three or four like I have because you'll use them all the time. I hardly ever use a straight non-flex head ratchet now. Sometimes, but not very often. Well, you can see, well maybe you can see, hard to see it, that uh, right there's the top pulley back there. It's, it's almost impossible to show this. So it's in, it's torqued, it's ready to go. I just got to put the belt back on, we'll start it up and see how it sounds. Uh, I've got the belt run. Uh, I've got it on everything except this top pulley. This is the easiest one to get to. So I'm going to stick the wrench, 14 millimeter wrench back in there, take the tension off the tensioner so I can slip this on the top. That's the easiest way to do it. Uh, it's going to be hard for me to show you that. It's just, I just don't, there's just no way to show it. I don't have somebody to hold the camera and, but pretty, pretty self-explanatory. I'll show it to you if I can. So come in here. I have to push this towards the back of the car. I want to get as much room as I can here. Push it as much as I can in the back. I'm gonna catch it on this hose. And I think that'll give me enough. Uh, get enough there, get enough playing it or not. Do I have to go a little farther? A little bit farther. There we go. Well, oh, that was not fun. Check my belt to make sure I'm on everywhere. I know you can't see, I'm just checking. Way it looks like they're on. Let me go start this up and crank it a little bit, make sure it doesn't fly off of there. So hopefully you could hear that. It was quiet. I was making a lot of chirping noises before. From the pulley being bad, but now it's working. Well, that's it for the 06 Honda Ridgeline 3.5 liter um, serpentine belt and tensioner. Now, the first tensioner they sent me was bad, it did not work, it just wouldn't work. So, it's going back, but um, you can hear that. That's probably the one that was making noise. Uh, but now the new one's on there. Sounds good. It's quiet. Not a really hard job. Like I said, uh, this bottom bolt goes like this, right? So this bottom right here, that's the one you can't see from the top. You have to reach underneath 12 millimeter head on that bolt and uh, get that one loose as well. Not a big deal. A little tight, but not too bad. Um, you got to do this for your Honda Ridgeline and other Honda engines, I'm sure, are pretty similar. Um, I hope it helps you out. If you like the video, subscribe below. Thanks for watching.